Public referendum is a democratic tool, but in Thailand it has a very different look. When opponents of the military coup tried to open centres to monitor possible cheating before the vote, they were shut down within minutes. Soldiers wouldn't let us film them seizing the group's banner hung on the side of the building. This was perhaps classed as campaigning, something that's been outlawed and punishable by up to 10 years in jail. Under the Referendum Act, we can't lead the public to vote no. We've already made our position clear that we will not accept this constitution. We've made it clear why we can't accept this. It's the makeup of the next government under the new constitution that's attracting most criticism. There's a provision for an unelected prime minister. The 250 member Senate will be appointed by the military and six seats will be reserved for security forces. Committee members who wrote the constitution say Thailand's political system must be reformed. The appointed Senate will guarantee that they will check and balance the power of the future government. Uh, they, they're not really um, overplay or um, overshadow the future government, but they, they're acting like the steering committee again, I would say. For years, Thailand has been through a seemingly endless cycle of political upheaval as rival factions fight for control. The government says that cycle needs to end, which is why a new political system is needed. The military says it will return democracy to Thailand and the referendum is a key step in that process. But critics say the constitution is really about entrenching their control. And if it's adopted, true parliamentary democracy will be severely weakened and it'll be very difficult for any future government to change it. If it's not passed, the government says it'll write another version and there will be no referendum. That could also mean a further delay to an election the military says will be held late next year. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.